All right, YouTube, welcome to Everyday Journey. Uh, today we're actually going to test this thing in here under control conditions. I had it outside. It was working, but it, it in, you needed a, a decent amount of wind for this thing to actually work. In slow, you know, low wind conditions, it really wasn't going. Um, it wasn't continuing to go. It was kind of it would only work if it was if it was picking up a little bit. So. Um, we're going to uh, get a protractor so we can actually get measured angles. Uh, we're going to actually adjust these blades, get the uh, the angles at the most, you know, to get the most revolutions per minute um, with the exact same conditions as far as the fan behind it here, and then uh, and then we're going to go and try adjusting the uh, the blades in some so that hopefully we can get. You know, maybe maybe it'll make a difference if the blades are actually closer, you know, versus being so far apart like they are. Um, I don't know. That's uh, that's what we'll see. We also uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and I think at one point in time in this we'll go ahead and test out. Also, uh, I had one of my viewers and I can't think of the name right now. You guys can look through the comments on on one of these windmill videos, and uh, he actually mentioned to turn these blades completely around so that they uh, they were facing the opposite direction um, well not so much the opposite direction but uh, well I'll show you this if this will if this will move he, he mentioned to go ahead and spin it completely around and it won't go that far but have it to where they're rather this curved part right here being on the outside have it on the inside and I don't know it, it may work better I wouldn't think it would but we'll test it we'll see if it works so let's check it out. All right, I know you really can't see it, but I've got a wide black mark right there on the bottom of this. Um, that tells me where I've got, you know, where to start my timer. What I'm doing is I got this thing on low and uh, let it get up to speed. Make sure it's it's where it's going to be. Um, I've already taken one measurement now. Um, I put it at 90 degrees. Let it run around. It actually did 16 revolutions per minute, um, almost exactly. So I'm going to try it again here at, uh, that's, this is 95 degrees, um, and we're going to test both up to 115 degrees um, and then down to 65 degrees, um, adjusting that angle each time and seeing how many revolutions per minute we get. And then whatever works, that's where I'm going to go ahead and drill my holes, go ahead and, and secure the blades, because right now I just have one screw in them. Um, secure the blades, that way they stay in place at that angle. And, uh, and then we'll work on the, uh, the diameter of it, the overall diameter anyway. So uh, we'll test it again, we'll see what we get. I don't know if you can see this or not, but here's my results for, uh, for my testing. Um, I actually, I mean, I started here at, what is this, 90 degrees. And as I started going up from there, it actually started increasing its revolutions per minute. Um, so I didn't even bother at that point going back down because I knew that if it was increasing here it was probably going to be decreasing here um, but I ended up getting my best test results right here at 110 degrees which is not perfect uh, perfectly 110 degrees because just the way that this thing's made um, but it was 100 it, it was a reference mark um, we got 23 and a half revolutions per minute right here then I actually drilled in and I didn't have it it was probably about an inch inch and a half um, making the uh, putting the blades in some um, actually no I got 24 and a half that was my original um, what I finally got I tested it several times um, and whenever I increased it the you know put a put a drill or put the blades in by about an inch inch and a half something like that um, I actually got more revolutions per minute uh, which was kind of my goal um, really I, I didn't think of it the right way whenever I was thinking about all this but revolutions per minute is really not saying anything because what I need is the most amount of power um, but I don't have a way to test how much power this thing is outputting um, I could put something on the uh, on the axle or the axis of it um, to give me a specific amount of drag and then count the revolutions per minute and keep going like that but I'm not going that far um, I think it's increased the uh, it's increased it's how fast it will go um, without going too fast 
and given that in low wind conditions this thing wasn't working that well um, it was barely once it got going it was fine but to get it going it took a minute so um, to make this thing to where it actually gets more revolutions per minute means that it's getting more of the wind the power of the wind to get it going um, so I think I'm gonna leave it where it's at right now rather than going any further in on the diameter because I probably would get more revolutions per minute um, but at the same time um, it, it's it, it may not have as much output as much power output um, but I don't know uh, right now I've kind of fixed part of my problem if I need to bring it in some more later I'll do that on my own I'll just let you guys know that I did it um, and go from there but uh, let's let's move on to see how this thing does with the uh, with the blades reversed guys as you can see I've turned the, the blades around it is working I had no doubt that it wouldn't work um, let me turn this fan off real quick Um, I was really surprised with the results though because uh, this thing is actually getting the same amount of results, same amount of revolutions per minute as my highest count with the blades the other direction. So it's about, well, it's exactly the same except for one thing. Um, this is the only thing that I could think that make it different. Um, the way that I've got these things mounted, the, uh, the screw is so far into this that by the time you turn this completely around like this it's actually making this thing wider which when you think about it if this is getting the exact same results uh, with a wider stance then uh, it's actually I guess less efficient um, because it should actually be going faster you got a wider circle it's got more to turn around and uh, if it was doing exactly the same it, it's I guess it'd be less efficient and I don't know I kind of I don't know I kind of have a, 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 a I don't know what you call it I, it, it kind of drives me nuts to see it this way <laughs> it's 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 just weird you know I mean granted it's weird either way you look at it but it just to me this looks weird um, but again it's not permanently set so maybe I'll try it you know, my way for a while, switch it around, try it this way for a while, see which one actually works better. Um, overall, I mean, I'm kind of disappointed with the the whole design of this. I mean, there's so many things that need to be changed on it in order for it to be work better. Um, you know, that, I think even things like the bearings, the bearings are not the best. Um, if I'm using this for mechanical, driving something mechanical, um, then it, it's, it really needs more power to it. Uh, I've had it outside, and even with decent winds, I mean, it will go, but it's nothing sustained. You know, it doesn't keep going, and I, I mean, it's wind, it's the way it is, but who knows. Um, it's fun to play with, uh, although my wife doesn't like seeing it out there which is goes along with a lot of other people who probably wouldn't like seeing it you know if I were to mount this thing up on top of my roof I may have issues with the city county state who knows um, but it's not gonna stop me from trying uh, I'll look into what the details are and stuff like that for getting something up there and and having it actually legal um, this is a pretty they're, they're pretty up to speed here where I live. To, I think they would allow it. Um, I don't know exactly what kind of things I would have to go through as far as safety um, or any of that, but they would probably allow it as long as I met their specifications and all that. Um, I would try to make this thing, you know, a lot better before putting it up on top of my roof. Um, one, because this thing is it's kind of rickety. Um, <clears throat> this is for testing. Uh, this is for learning purposes, and I've learned a lot with this. Learned what I could do to make it better, make it, <laughs> I don't know if I can make it worse, but I think I can improve this one a lot. Um, and I think I probably will before I put anything up, you know, permanently. Um, but for testing purposes, this will work just fine. Alright guys, now it's time for you guys to leave me some comments. Um, 
I'm open to suggestions on how to do this. As you can see, I, I did a modification here just to see what would happen with it. Um, and I thought about that before too. Um, I've seen lots of different designs um, and I will try my best to mimic the whatever works best, even if it drives me nuts to see it that way. Um, but yeah, I'm open to suggestions, everything you can think of as far as how to actually make this thing better balanced, how to, uh, you know, what, what better types of bearings. You know, I've already thought something along the lines of uh, possibly upgrading it to having, you know, magnets for the actual bearings but that comes into more problems so um, and if I ever get to that then we'll get to that too and uh, but if uh, you know if you have any suggestions that you know whatever works works so if I don't come up with it and you do I'd love to hear it so I can try to try to make it happen but I appreciate you guys watching um, and I really do want to continue with this I know this is kind of boring at this point um, little tidbit videos like this that don't really give you much information um, and don't really show how well it works um, but I think we're now at the point of really getting this thing outside really putting it to something to make it power something and you know I, I don't think it's going to be good enough for electric um, but every little bit of energy that you can take from the wind and store it is that much more energy that you can use for something else so we'll we'll see what we can do with it um, but yeah my next thing is I'm gonna actually take this thing and, and waterproof it on my own or best I can anyway probably just paint it or something because um, it's getting killed outside in the elements in just a little amount of time I've left it out there um, and uh, but really just mount it up and, and really start doing something with it so I will post some videos I guess on how I get it to the point of doing some mechanical work and then what it does with that with that energy that, that I've used so like I said I appreciate you guys watching uh, you guys definitely uh, are what makes this channel work I'm sorry I haven't gotten any videos out there it's just been well holidays work all that stuff it's taking all my time and yeah I, I try my best but you know given that I don't get paid a ton of money or anything to do this I guess you can kind of get what I can give you when I can give it to you, but I try. So you guys take care. I appreciate you watching.